Évariste Galois was a brilliant French mathematician. His greatest contribution to math was to show when an algebraic equation can be solved by radicals. In other words, a solution containing square roots, cube roots and so on, but no trigonometric or other non-algebraic functions. Sadly, his short life ended tragically, as we're going to find out. As a teenager, Galois's great ability to solve problems effortlessly in his head and write down results without filling in the detail of how he'd arrived at them exasperated his teachers and held him back academically. That didn't stop him from doing his own research, however, summarised in a handful of papers, some published posthumously, in which, while searching for solutions to polynomial equations of degree 5, he effectively founded the theory of groups. At the age of just 17, he began making fundamental discoveries in the theory of polynomials. He proved that there can be no general formula for solving quintic equations, those that include a term of x to the 5. The Norwegian, Niles Abel, had done this independently a few years earlier by a different method. Galois, though, proved the more general and powerful idea that there's no general algebraic method for solving polynomial equations of any degree greater than 4. Galois achieved this general proof by looking at whether or not the permutation group of its roots, now known as its Galois group, had a certain structure. He was the first to use the term group in its modern mathematical sense of a group of permutations, and his approach, now known as Galois theory, was adapted by later mathematicians to many other fields besides the theory of equations. Things began to go badly wrong for Galois in 1829, beginning with his father's death by suicide. The young man's political activities, he was a staunch Republican, prone to outspoken and hot-headed demonstrations, led to him being thrown into prison on a couple of occasions, though he continued doing maths while behind bars. Shortly after being released from his second spell in jail in 1832, he got involved in a duel, possibly over a woman, though the circumstances remain unclear, and it may possibly have been a trap laid for him by political opponents. In any event, Galway was shot in the abdomen during the contest and died the following day, aged just 20. So sure was he that he'd be killed, that he spent the night before writing down some of his most important mathematical ideas. These notes, together with a handful of unpublished papers, were discovered 14 years later by Joseph Leoville, the discoverer of transcendental numbers, who recognised Galois' previously unknown writings as works of genius and brought them to the attention of the world. Galois' great strength was his ability to leap ahead of others and break into new areas of maths without having to dwell too long on the intermediate steps. But being so far ahead of his time and lax in his proofs frustrated his contemporaries. It was only much later that the importance of his contributions was fully realised.